you know, it's actually really nice to boot into this game and not be worried about everything falling apart immediately as soon as I take the game off pause. So big, big thing I want to do today is move the ghoul from in here and into like an actual holding cell uh, because I feel like just having him chilling here probably isn't the best idea. I know that they, they're going to escape in like a long time, meaning it gives me plenty of time to wait for that to get finished. But still not really like a uh, fun thought to know that it's right there and could easily just rip apart my people if it so wanted. Okay, so I know that the description says that they're incapable of using, uh, uh, dang. Uh, I know it says that they're incapable of using weapons, but I wonder if they're also incapable of wearing clothes. I would assume so. To be fair, I don't know. So also, they have opinions. You have a wife and a daughter, and it's, he has like a, a whole family. Research, finish, entity containment. That means when we actually get the other thing. Once we get the uh, research facility done and dusted, I can actually just build extra ones myself. Uh, probably want to start getting... Could do draw animals or skip abduction. Ooh, that could be really good. Uh, skip abduction could be really good because then I can just basically summon... Uh, new recruits whenever I need them. Uh, so, that, yeah, I'll, I'll probably probably take that. Uh, and because we are ritualists, it is a lot more important that we actually do rituals. Who would have thought? So what I want to do is I want to build a little uh, temple around this thing and, you know, do all of our rituals from there. See, uh... Psychic rituals are exalted, meaning that whenever we actually do them, we get boosts and stuff like that. The quality is better, and we'll get more upset when we don't do any. Also, both all goods trader, meaning we can finally get our hands on some silver. So that, so on, so on, all that. Uh, we do still need some of it because we need to make warmer clothes. All right, yeah, just gonna sell some of the. Uh, Stuffs in order to get some, finally get some silver in this colony. Okay, rifle, versatile assault rifle with good range, decent power, and good accuracy. It also comes equipped with a biofarite powered mini burner unit, which generates blast of flame from pressurized biofarite charges. The mini burner can, can be used twice before refueling. They have an under barrel like flamethrower on that thing. That's awesome. You know what I'm gonna do because. Right now, Franco refuses to not get food poisoning. Uh, I'm going to have the ghoul go out and hunt for us instead. Of course, let him eat his fill uh, before we do anything else. That way, you know, he doesn't go insane and eat us instead. Oop. Oh, I thought there was going to be a... I was looking down on my phone and when I heard that, I thought there was a raid as he was going out hunting. Alright, he's killed a couple things. I think it's about time that we let him uh do do his do his own stuff. Franco, don't get food poisoning again. Oop. Hello. Oh, yep, you're going straight into the prison. I hope that you don't mind uh uh <laughs> living with a <the> ghoul. <laughs> This doesn't seem like a good idea. The fact that I can do this is really funny, honestly. This might not actually be a bad idea. This might be like, oh. Uh, breakthrough while studying the monolith. Believes the monolith is a conduit for psychic energy connecting some distant location. Uh, by studying more anomalous entities, close the conduit, learn to harness its power, provides more knowledge and study. Nice. Anyway, uh, this might actually not be a bad idea because then when they break, they go for the the <laughs> they go for the prisoner instead of the, the the colonists as horrible as that as that sounds 
which gives us more time to try and get them to get them to join. Wait, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Because if they go after the prisoner before they go for a colonist, it gives us more time to reposition and like get in to knock it back down and recontain it. Oh, that was actually really fast. Wow. Forge feather for pay. Fog rain for 7.1 days. It's already rain. We can have some fog too. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that is a really good book. For crafting and cooking, I could just force Yachty to read a lot. Interesting. All right. Normally, I would go for the recon armor. However, because these books are really good. <laughs> Sight sealer revealed. Where? How did it get in here? Do they just randomly spawn in? Do they not like actually walk through the? Oh, that's kind of sad. Help Mike put it down. Oh my god, the sight sealer is like actually kind of fucking them up. It's a shotgun. There we go. All right. Um. Is there a place where we can temporarily store that while I still continue to work on the... I don't like this. It's going to be the only place I'm going to be able to put it for now. You know what? Let's not even bother with that. Let's just, let's just put a spot on the floor. I just want more entities to contain. I do need to finish this up, like, as soon as possible. So, uh, Franco, I hate to say it. I'm also gonna need you to mine a lot more often. <laughs> yeah, imprisoned with entity, minus 15. Yeah, that would, that would definitely do it. <laughs> Franco's begun to fix it on the void and wishes to investigate it using the whole void provocation ritual. Place a ritual, place a psychic ritual spot to avoid the void provocation ritual. We probably should do that. I just, why are you, to, oh shoot. I forgot that you were bleeding because he shot you. Uh, Maker is approaching with a child in tow. They said they were banished from the town due to moral disagreements. Uh, sure, yeah. But please tell me one of you guys is good at construction. Yes, okay, perfect. We got some... We got that done. So now we'll start stone cutting so we don't have a burnable base. And we also have some bills set up for clothing. So when it gets cold out, we don't start dying. Oh no. It turned invisible. There you are. Oh, yeah, you did kill him. Nice. Alright. Capture it. It's not bleeding, is it? Nah, it should be fine. Yep, now, uh, tied to the floor again. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fight back against the, the, uh, Empire this time. Probably, probably not. I don't think I'm going to, like, side with the Empire exactly, but I also don't know if I want to fight back against it, so I think I'm just going to ignore them for now. Yeah, no, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, they don't really have much that I want at the moment. All right, you know what would make you guys feel so much better? Just having, uh, just having a good old, good old evocation of the void. I'm sure this won't go wrong. Void provocation completed. Prepare for what comes next. Okay. Uh, oh? A blind healer is approaching the colony. He wants to talk. You can send a colonist to hear what he has to say. Uh, oh, disturbing. Hernan is a, per is a peculiar person who seems fixated on Hernan's ideas. Talking to him is often upsetting. Oh, a natural healing. Use dark psychic influence to heal someone. The process will stop bleeding, restore blood loss, and can even heal significant injuries. However, it can also have unexpected side effects. Okay. Franco, do you want to go talk to the weird guy? Who showed up immediately after we tried invoking the void? A small withered man stands in front of you. Where his eyes should be, there are only scar-crusted holes on in his flesh. Yet, even without, even without eyes, he somehow looks at you with kindness. He says that he knows that his skills are needed here and wants to stay for a while. He offers to use his healing power to help you. You may be very useful, but you also sense there is something Hernan is not telling you. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can join up. Oh, and he's decent at mining. Yeah, so now I can take Franco off of the mining thing. Oh, and there's Shamblers. Okay, they're gonna kind of mine their own business. Honestly, they might drop dead before they even, like, get close to us. Oh, that's cute. They're having a little party, too. Celebrate the new creepy guy that 
showed up and uh, likes to talk about scary things. Ooh, a Hussar Shambler. That could actually be, like, really bad. Oh, yeah, these are, like, the ones that are, like, they spawn in and then, like, immediately die afterwards. All right. Nothing too much. And because of the psychic ritual, they're happy. Monster by my bed. Never be able to sleep with that twisted thing around. You can't even see it. It's fine. Just ignore it chittering in the middle of the night. You'll be you'll be okay. Franco, what are you running from? Franco, why are you Why are you over there? Also, they're they're just corpses now. You don't have to worry about them. Can Mike, can you eat the no you can't eat the corpse. Okay. I was curious. Ricky and Outlander Etheria has learned that Maker and another refugee are being hosted at Hamlet at the Cove. She's enemies with Maker and wants to see him dead. Oh. Oh. Okay. That is a good book, and I am always looking for books. But to be fair, Maker has also been really good at helping build everything. I. And, and there's a kid that they're asking us to. Uh. Put to sleep permanently so yeah let's let's probably not do that also i just realized that we don't have any food uh why are you not hunting you need to go hunt food have you ever eaten raw potatoes before i've eaten raw potatoes before uh i i don't even remember what the context for was i think we were at like i was at like youth group or something like that because i used to go to youth group uh and there was something i can't even remember some analogy was brought up with potatoes and there was just a potato and I was like hey can I eat it and like the the youth leader was like yeah sure you you can eat it I didn't think he expected me to actually do it but yeah I, I took a big chomp out of it and uh yeah raw potatoes just taste like dirt that's it okay I'm curious does that get rid of scars by any chance because Masaru has some scars, so if I go over here and I do that, is that going to get rid of the scars, potentially? Unnatural healing. Uh, the gunshot was healed. Okay. Did that? I think that got... Did that get rid of scar? I think it did. Oh, and it only gets rid of one at a time? Okay. Curious. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, dang it. Well, I mean, now I don't have to worry about him eating all of our food all the time. I'll take that at least. <sighs> Damn it. It is what it is. I wonder if you can convert ghouls over to your thing, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to look it up real quick. Okay, it doesn't look like you can bring them back to life, unfortunately, but... Oh. Muse mom just dropped in, I guess. Oh, I rescue her. Next to the queen. Although, I was looking... Apparently with ghouls... Oh, that's relatively far down the line. Ghoul resurrection. Oh yeah, wow, that, that is cheap, okay. Uh, although, what I will do, uh, while we wait for that, because I don't want, I don't like the idea of Mike just being dead. So, make the sarcophagus. Let's not do that. Uh, corpses. Oh, shoot. Let's just get rid of that. Alright. Just, just leave him on the floor for now. He's frozen. Now, if you want to go grab his corpse, you can bring him. Well, that was an unfortunate oversight. I figured that he'd be fine hunting the alpaca, but uh, apparently alpacas have hands, I guess. Oh, okay. So now it provides even more? Three more that we need to discover before, or we have two more of these three that we need to discover before we start getting to the real cool ones. Okay. Yeah, Chen, you can leave. We weren't keeping you here. Oh, there's a great Paul outside? I didn't even realize. Does that count as an entity? I assume it doesn't. What is that? I would figure that was the Great Paul, but I guess not. Also, Maker Mew, uh, you guys can leave anytime you want now. Like I, I loved having you guys here. You know, you guys have done a lot of good work, but uh, we kind of need to not have mouths to feed.
Whoop. Flesh beast attack. Where? Oh. Oh, that's where. I thought they were gonna pop out of the ground. Shoot. Uh, because we don't have him anymore. Okay, I assume I can just have these guys deploy their turrets like this. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that all the flesh piece? Oh, I didn't need to pop those. Mew, do you want to go... Oh, no, run. Uh, make her... You want to fill in the pit, bro. Make sure no more of those things can pop out. Oh, is that a one-time use? Oh, I'm sad that I used that. Dang it. I thought you could deploy it a couple times. Well, good to know. Does it actually seem like they could be really good? All right, one more. One more. Arconic Jubilee. Oh, we still don't have a leader. I should probably do that. Once Yachty gets... Like, becomes a part of the, the uh, colony, then I'll do it, but... Great, nice. Now, recruitment attempts will finally start. Uh, let's go with... Biofarite harvesting, I guess. Cool attacking. Yeah, and now, now is when I would want to try and use that. Alright. Use these guys. Nice. And we'll revenge. Maker. How? How do you miss this many times? There we go. Tend to yourself. I'll we'll wait for the ghoul to wander over. Turn on. We're probably going to need you, you blind, blind man. Yeah, we need higher fire rate guns ASAP. <laughs> Alright. Shoot down. I said shoot it down. Alright. What's its move speed looking like? 4.5, 4.6. Okay, nope. We are, we might have to sacrifice Maker. Unless we can get a couple more hits off. Maker, 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 beat it over the head. Okay, maybe if we all just collectively beat it over the head. <laughs> oh, this is actually working shockingly well. Wow! Nice job, guys. You blew his head off. Oh, and we get to eat the wolf, too. Nice. Nice. Johnny, join, join us. All right, per per perfect. Welcome to the colony. Yachty, what are you good at again? Shooting. That's not it. Okay. Oh, boy. We need to get you a gun. <laughs> In order to get you a gun, we need to do more research. <laughs> Could I have you on research a decent bit? Uh, definitely get you hunting once we have guns. Uh, where's your cooking skill? You can take over scope. Oh, we do actually need a ritualist now because we have three uh, of the Ar of Arcus in our community. So, begin role change. Uh, ritualist, probably, yeah, you. And then, we'll change. Franco. Perfect. Alright, now we got all that. All that. Uh, okay, yeah. See you, Maker. I mean, realistically, we couldn't have had you along much longer. Yeah, you would have gone to a con uh, oh, in a coma, like, 20 days. Okay, so they can get rid of scars. Oh, uh, a fleshy tent muscle tentacle of resembling a partial transformation to a flesh beast. The tentacle is excellent at manipulation. Uh, she's not happy about it, but, uh, it's good at manipulation. So, you know. Uh, might not take that off. Okay, I'm curious. Abduct a random hostile person from anywhere in the world, prioritizing those nearby. The ritual induces a dark architect to warp space, teleporting a distant person to the center of the ritual circle. The process causes the target to fall into a short coma. Required offering Biobarite 60. Okay. So, big thing. Oh, we're almost, we almost have the uh, Biobarite. Oh, sure enough, what do you know? Alright, uh, probably Biofarite shaping? Probably? Draw, physically, psychically draw experiences from the victim's mind and transfer them into the, in, into the invoker, tar targeting the victim's highest skill. Huh. Okay, so you can also drain energy from the entities in order to make them, well, it makes them 
angry, but it also powers things. That's interesting. I think I'm gonna grab Boyd Sculptures. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and figure out Biofairy Harvester. So you just put that there and then slap that there. Franco. Also, I just realized I forgot to put down any recreation spots or anything. Here, there's that. Then we have a chess table. Yeah, we don't have enough power for that thing, apparently. So uh, let's build another generator. Oh, that makes them very upset. I mean, that does make sense. Uh, let's not do that yet, though, probably. But once we get that thing constructed. Actually, realistically, if I were to do that, probably at least get him moved over. Uh, Actually, you know what? You know what? Before I finish the episode, one last thing. I want to try an abducting, abducting someone. <laughs> okay, interesting. So the higher your psychic sen sensitivity is, the better of a chanter you are. Good to know. Good to know. Franco. Okay. Yeah. And it just spawns in. Yeah, it just spawns in a person. They're good at mining and construction. Yeah, we're kidnapping you. Yeah. Happy that they got to do a uh, psychic ritual. Perfect. Monolith study. All right. Yeah. And uh, with our psychically abducted person, uh, I think I'm going to end today's episode. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that this colony has been going so far. Uh, things are actually looking up. Things are functioning as I hoped. I, it's not like a constant battle for survival constantly at all day, every day. Uh, really the only issue I'm having is that I'm not able to hunt enough food for people to eat because Franco always has food poisoning, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, th 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 I've had so many less psychic, like, uh, mental breaks and all that. It's just a lot better and I get to interact with more stuff from Anomaly as well. And it's, I'm really enjoying this so far. Uh, and I hope you all are too. Anyway. This is Solo Goldfish signing out. Catch you on the flip side.